What's going on, you guys? Mr. Money One Two Three Five back here yet again for another album review. R. Kelly, black panties. <laughs> oh man, I bet you guys did not see this one coming. Honestly, I didn't even know about the existence of this album until somebody at work told me to check it out. And uh, yeah, the album cover and the title of this album kind of intrigued me. My penis listened to this album. My dick. My dick was responsible for the listening of this album, I'm gonna be honest with you. And honestly, that makes a whole lot of sense, because literally 90% of this album is about fucking. It is! 90% of this album is just about having sex. That's all this album is about. The first two tracks are about the exact same thing. Eating out a bitch. Leg shaking. All about getting your tongue down in between those thighs. Track two, Cookie. It's the exact same thing. Likes to lick the middle of an Oreo. Throw this money on you. All about strippers. The title is pretty obvious. My absolutely favorite song on this album, Marry the Pussy. <laughs> I can't even say this without fucking laughing, for God's sake. Come on, this is ridiculous. Listen to this line. I want to get down on my knees and ask that pussy to marry me. Ah. Oh. No, more beautiful lyrics have never been written. We take a break from having sex for a second for a song called You Deserve Better, which is all about just leaving your man who's treating you bad. That's all this song is about. Then we hop back onto sex with a track featuring Kelly Rowling called All The Way, which is pretty obvious in itself. Then there's a song called Crazy Sex, and then there's a song called Tear It Up. I'm skipping around a whole lot here, but these are just some points that I want to make on this album. The lyrics on this album are really dumbed down. There are no metaphors, there's nothing that makes anybody think. This album is just straight up what the hell it's all about. It's all about fucking. That's all this album is about. Now, in my opinion, I feel like some people might take this as a good or a bad thing, because some people might think this album is honestly a little bit trashy. But a compliment that I will give at this album, without kind of joking at it, is there are some really sexy songs on this thing. I mean, like, every single one of these songs is that really R&B style, really, like, boys to men fucking romantic song that makes any woman drop her panties. I mean, like, this, this album is just made for, like, baby making. It really is. Especially one of the last songs of this album called Physical. I mean, that song is all about having sex in a really passionate way. Now, there are a whole lot of forgettable songs on this album. There's also a few songs on here that aren't just about sex. And honestly, some girls are really going to get into this album. This is a really romantic R&B style record. It really is. Lyrically, though, I feel like this album was written by like a 15-year-old boy going through puberty who can't stop thinking about getting laid. That's just what it sounds like to me, but the sounds and the music on this album are all totally there. Along with R. Kelly's really soulful vocals, the way he delivers these lines is really sexy and really sensual and really sweet. So while the lyrics are a little bit dumbed down, I feel like this album has a whole lot of other things going for it, and I kind of like it, honestly. Definitely not going to be one of my favorite records of the year, but I really think it's worth a listen. Some people are going to get really into this album, and I can see why. And some people are just going to think it's a bunch of trash. So you can make your own opinions about that. Mr. Money 1, 2, through 5. I'll see you guys later. Oh, R. Kelly. I absolutely love what Dave Chappelle said about you. I want to piss on you. Yes, I do. I piss on you. I pee on you. Drip, drip, drip. I pick you up from the club. Take you home and make some love. Got a surprise. Close your eyes. I'm gonna cover you in suds. Let me give us that boop, boop. Let me give us that pee, pee. Here we get the doo doo, wash it down with some wee wee. This is the remix edition of a song about pissing. I got that freaking leak in the endless juice in the kitchen.